Kat has an energy around her that is contagious, and it helps people, I think, reach beyond where they're already considering going. When Ka began working with the women of Sandaga Market, she taught them that they have a voice, that it's not Ka who's going to go into the market and stand up for you, but you're gonna find your own voice and stand up for yourself. She's, what, all of 4'11", maybe five feet tall, if that, I'm being generous. And yet, in her presence, she comes across as just huge. The name Ka means Big Mama, which is like the big mother who is the matriarch of the family. So that is a responsibility that she has even by her name. She also happens to be the first. And we all know about first children, always wanting to be in control. Her passion drives her. So the things that are important to her give her this ability to just push through obstacles. And I think that's what enables her to be an incredible achiever uh, because she's driven by her passions. Kai is extraordinarily clear about the risk that she's taking. But more importantly, she's extraordinarily clear that this is the choice that she's making. It is very, very important that we have young leaders who now venture into areas where we did not even dare. There is a great pride and a sense of satisfaction uh, for the older women because we can see, although we are not there yet, a lot of strides are being made. When look at what is happening in Egypt, in Tunisia, in Algeria, and Cote d'Ivoire, you realize that it's about people. It's about people deciding that they want to take their destiny into their hand and create the future that they want to have for themselves. And Ka, as a leader, that's her basic philosophy. She believes in people. She believes that the people know better than anybody else what they want for their lives. She really wants to see Cameroon thrive. When Ka leads by example, it lets other people overcome their fears and to see that they have the power to make change. She has a very strong sense of who she is, where she's from, and that's what keeps her, I think, focused. Because she sort of owes it not just to herself, Ka, she owes it to all these people behind her who are looking at her and looking up to her. Who can lift us higher than Ka if she becomes president? She will remember the people. She's not like the others. The time is now. For Ka, it's if we can make it better, let's do it. If we can fix it, why did it ever break? If we can resolve these issues and move forward, then she's going to be one of the first ones to step up.